Welcome back at 744. We are tracking Hurricane Rafael this morning as it moves through the Gulf of Mexico. It did make landfall yesterday in western Cuba as a category three storm. That was Wednesday afternoon, brought impacts to places like Havana. It is a rare, it is rare rather to see a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico this so late in the season. We are lucky enough to be joined by LSU professor Dr. Nam Walker joining us to talk about this unique storm. And I thank you so much. It's interesting for me to be on TV in November talking about a storm in the Gulf of Mexico, that's a category two this morning. It is just amazing. It's just not expected. So the November hurricanes are very, very rare. They are, and you know, I'm looking at, I went back and looked at the statistics on record going back through the 1800s. I have seven hurricanes that have been in the Gulf of Mexico in November. Ada was uh, one a couple years ago, and then Ida back in 2009 was the last time we had a category two in November. Let's talk about how this can happen. And I think a lot of people know that the Gulf of Mexico is a warm body of water, but um, it's November. It's typically cooling down by now, and it's just not cooling down at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the Gulf is actually quite a bit cooler because of the hurricanes that we have had in, you know, the last month. Um, but the Caribbean Sea is very warm and the, the ocean heat content, which is the, the fuel for the hurricane, it's not only the surface temperature, but what the, the, deep, the deep warm water that fuels the hurricane. Um, it's extremely high in the Caribbean Sea this year, um, higher than last year. And it's much higher than the last 12 years. That's the statistics that are available. Um, so I think that was a major contribution to the fact that this storm developed south of Cuba um, and intensified so quickly. So when it entered in the Gulf of Mexico, it's actually gonna track over the loop current and a warm core eddy, which are also areas of high heat content. They're not quite as high as the Caribbean, but you know they could, further intensify it a little bit. And I don't know, control room, if we can take that um, that graphic right there you're seeing, it shows the heat content in the ocean. Where you have those darker purples is your deeper, hotter water, obviously. And you can see it edging up out of the Caribbean. How unique is that loop current or that eddy of hot water to the Gulf of Mexico and, and um, the process it plays in intensifying these hurricanes? You can see this morning, it's sitting right over it, basically. Right. The loop current, <clears throat> excuse me, the loop current is always, always in the Gulf of Mexico. The source water is the Yucatan current and the loop current is an interesting phenomena. It sometimes it's fully intruded almost to New Orleans, you know, to the, the Mississippi Delta, but it, it has to be in deep water. And sometimes it, it flows from the Yucatan directly through the Florida Straits. But if it does that, it has just released a lot of its warm water into the Gulf via a warm core eddy. Right now there's a warm core eddy forming. So the hurricane is experiencing the loop current and the warm core eddy, and they're both areas of high heat content. So uh, intensification is possible. Of course, the atmosphere has a lot to do with intensification as well. Um, from what I've heard, the atmosphere is not very conducive in the Gulf for intensification. So Hopefully we see it decrease in intensity soon. Yes, indeed. And um, just a little bit more analysis on the heat, uh, the yeah. loop current and just how deep this warm water goes. Do you have analysis or um, data that tells us how deep that, that warm water is? Yes, there's been many, many studies and it's, it's virtually always very close to the same depth of heat. It's um, like a thousand meters. Wow. It extends a thousand meters. So that's what about a half a mile deep. And I figured out some time ago, it carries about 700,000 superdomes of water into the Gulf every day. Oh my God. <laughs> just, and it's so all just, it's all just deeper. rocket fuel. Yeah. And it's unlimited fuel too. Yeah. Well, listen, Dr. Exactly. Dr. Walker, I'm out of time here this morning. I thank you so much for joining us. It's interesting to be talking about this hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Luckily, it just to simply not look like a major problem for us, but right. certainly, Luckily. A, certainly a unique one. I do appreciate you joining us this morning. Oh, it's nice to be here. Thank you. Yes, indeed.